yet Caleb's not ready to play. Paul, let's start with Caleb Farley, who is not going to play uh, tomorrow night in Atlanta. Um, and while you, we could say, well, he's been banged up, he hasn't played in a while, the tone of the way Vrabel answered this question yesterday to wrap up his press conference was a head turner for me. Um, we, we know that there have been observations, and, and you've told us that you know they, they've been getting on to Farley for lack of a better word, laziness uh, after some plays, wanting him to get up and get back to the huddle or whatever. Um, but as as the presser with Vrabel yesterday was wrapping up, they went through. We know Henry's not playing, uh, and Darrington Evans is going to receive the start in Atlanta. It's very unlikely, and he's not going to play, is, is Ryan Tannehill uh, Friday. And then at the end of the presser, Jim Wyatt from uh, TennesseeTitans.com asked something about Farley getting some looks or some work in the first preseason action and Vrabel turned and just said yeah Caleb's not ready to play and then as he and he leaves the podium as he leaves the podium he's asked to follow up and he turns back around off mic but where everyone could hear and says yeah Caleb's not ready to play I took that to mean that he's frustrated with that like that the reaction was more frustration than it was this is a guy who's coming back from injury and is not ready to play due to those limitations. Did you take it the same way? I, I sensed some frustration. I think. Uh, I, I think. I mean, it, just in the moment, that was my uh, my honest reaction to that answer was Vrabel's frustrated with Farley somehow. Well, he was just talking earlier than that about uh, being excited to see Monty Rice play. Uh, he said, I thought in another very telling statement, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Rashad Weaver play. And a week ago, I wouldn't have said that. Like he's come on in a week. But last week, I wasn't interested. And, in, and says in it's, a, it's a, big, a, a big preseason game for Dylan Radins as well. He said that, right? That we, yeah, he went through a couple other players. A little bit. Yeah. So, and that's more than he usually offers, right? So I thought that was interesting. So I just took it in the context of like, hey, just talk to you about three guys that I'm really excited to see based on what they've done over the last week. And now Caleb Farley comes up. And based on the last week, I'm not uh, – I'm not only not excited to see him, I'm not, we're not going to see him. He's not ready. Um, and I think it's a combination of not ready, like we're not ready to let him hit, and he's not ready, he's not ready mentally um, in addition. To, to be fair to what you were saying about uh, it was just one play. He went down on one play, and he didn't get up to finish the play. He was like, you know, like down and like, all right, I'm done for that play. Like I messed it up. And they're like, no, you don't finish it that way. You get up and try to finish it. And then you can right. be frustrated afterwards. And he didn't handle it that way. I don't think that that's, I mean, that was an illustrative point, but it wasn't a thematic, like he does this every play kind of thing. I wouldn't have said that uh, under any circumstance, I wouldn't have thought Caleb Farley would have played in their first preseason game. So big picture, I don't think it's a huge deal. Um, but I'd like, to, I, I'd like to think that they'll feel like they're ready to see him against uh, e either in Tampa Bay or certainly against Chicago, and he's still got too much rust on him. Well, look, the best players aren't playing Friday we, or tomorrow. We, we, we know that. Uh, this, this is and a, they're not traveling. This is a third they're, string We'll get a list later game. today. They're not going. But the, the rookies normally get a lot of reps and, and just get their feet wet, right? It's, it's the acclimation to game speed. And getting cleared a week into camp, to me, was a big sign that, okay, he's on track. Um, and I'm, I'm with you. I'm not surprised he's not playing in the preseason game, number one. It was just the, I don't know, it was just the tone and the way that Vrabel reacted to the question where he... He's frustrated, and, and, and I, I took it like he wanted to make sure. He, he could have elaborated, chose not to. He's elaborating, elaborating on other players. Um, I don't I, is I, It this, was just my reaction in the moment. Is this a company line with them that no rookie is ready and we're not going to inflate the tires of rookie players well, no, on this team? Well, no, because he said, I'm excited no. to see Rashad Weaver, who's come on the last week. Monty Rice? I, I, 
maybe I'm wrong in hoping that they are not putting Dylan Radens as backup guard. Uh, that maybe maybe they're lying about it. No, Dylan he's Radins really is going to be the starting Dylan tackle. Dylan Radens, they've he's said, has been, been bad. But I mean, he's been a little bit better. What's wrong with weeks. saying your first and second round pick? These guys are players. Uh, they're they're going to be ready to go quickly. I, are they afraid that they're going to get a big head if no, they say well, that? Raiden's hasn't been good, and Farley's coming off this thing. It so there are circumstances for both. I mean, instead of company line, it could also just be honest that they're not ready to play, which is really concerning. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick Network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.